Hello all, so in this video we are going to see a problem statement wherein we need to restart a failed step in IICS task flow for certain number of times. Now let's look at that problem statement, what it is exactly. So as you can see here in this article, right, the scenario will be retrying a create step which inserts a record in SQL Server database. So basically they are referring to this uh, step, okay, it's a data task consider. If there is any fault while inserting the data, the process will retry for four times and then it should fail. So if this step fails, it still needs to get triggered for four times, okay? And eventually after four failures, it should fail. My task flow should fail eventually. Okay, so we, in this video, we are going to replicate this exact scenario. Now for that, let me go back to my task flow. So I have created this task flow. So what this task flow currently does is it so this is a mapping which is uh, which is related to this uh, task flow okay now what this mapping is doing it's pulling the records this mapping we had seen in prior videos is basically the incremental load mapping wherein we are pulling the records from source table on incremental uh, with incremental logic so if i go back this is the incremental logic we had seen right Using that, we are pulling the records, newly created and recently updated records from employees table into my dimension table, okay? So if I go back, if I trigger this workflow, so let me go back and this is my source qualifier query and it returns 107 records. So if I run my task flow now, and it should pull 107 records and load into my dimension table. Let's see that. Okay. And 107 records got inserted. I mean, I can again validate that if I go back, let's download the log. So what it is is, so I executed this task flow okay and uh, internally it executed this mapping task okay it ran for eight seconds and just one instance of that right okay only one object you can see here okay and it row process 109 records correct now in our let me go back to our scenario what they are asking is if this task fails so by some way we have to fail this uh, data task execution okay so how can we do that the simplest way is let me stop my S uh, sql server service so if my service is stopped even my data task won't be able to establish the connection with the database and it will fail eventually so let's my service is stopped now if i run that now let's see i'm running the task flow and my data task should fail should fail and task flow should go in suspended state so let's see that come on okay let me download the log okay now as you can see here still just a one execution okay one, one just one object and the state is failed right earlier the status was completed so so far so good we achieved one part of it of our problem statement now what we have to do is they are asking my failed uh, step should get trigger again for four times okay how can we do that so these are the steps they have given so let's let me go back and as they have mentioned let me create a temp variable so this is my task flow and in if you go to temp field let me add a new field let's say cnt failure fail count okay and i will define this as integer that's fine correct save now 
let me go back to data task and instead of suspended on error instead of suspend task flow will give custom error handling okay moment we click on that custom error handling it will create this throw task okay now in this flow we have to do so as you can see here on the after this throw task till this end we'll have to add add our logic so what they are saying is add the assignment task but before that let me add just the wait task where is the wait task so i will wait for maybe 5 seconds or maybe 10 seconds wait, let's wait for 3 seconds perfect maybe after that as they have told we have to increment that variable so that we can find out how many times the failure occurred right so let me uh increment error count let's say go to assignment here we have to increment that so formula plus 1 come on okay after that we'll have to see uh the value of that counter so let me go back and let me add so let me stop this end and i will this end let's say success end okay and after this i will have to add decision task so uh if a error count less than 3 let's say they are asking for 4 but we will not do 4 let's uh, less than 3 okay and so if this guy less than Three. Okay. If it is less than three, then retry. So for that, I will add a jump task, and this jump task will eventually call my data task. So with jump task, basically you can call a data task again. Okay. This remaining logic is just to validate the counter counter value. Okay. if we don't add that and if you just add jump task here it will keep it will go in loop okay so we don't want that and that's the reason why we are validating that count the variable count okay now otherwise you just stop so let's say failed end right so if it is less than 3 my counter is less than 3 then it will keep on calling this calling the data task and eventually it will fail okay on fourth execution so let's try that i will save it now let's see if our logic is correct let me run this guy my sql server service is still uh, not running so let's see now how many times it runs so here we saw it ran just once because it's just a one entry one object entry now let's see how many times it gets called two task so basically it called two times should call three times and on after that it should fail so let's see three times and now it should go in suspended state or maybe four time uh, it
yeah so it ran for three times so I go back see so as you can see here right it ran for three times and when that counter value increased uh, in increased to four which is uh, which is not less than three or increased to three which is not less than three then it failed right so let me do one thing let me download and now here you will see the execution so if I language let's say JSON you see this this is one this is an array right and this is one this is two and that's third right so if you see it failed for one two three times okay that is what exactly we are looking for okay now and it failed for same reason error connecting to database now what we'll do is so we saw this correctly right this is exactly we replicated what we'll do is now we'll trigger the workflow or we trigger that task flow and meanwhile we'll start our service and we'll see what happens okay and let me go ahead let it fail for once okay and now let me go ahead and start it okay it's running now now since it's running see it it completed in first task itself right uh, you know what I should wait so let me stop it again and let me trigger it one more time so let me close this guy and let it fail I want it to fail at least once once it goes to this wait for three second right then I will start the SQL Server service okay now it failed once right so let me go ahead and start it now it should it should go to success it should go over here I guess it completed yeah it got some completed so as you can see here it failed once after failure we started the SQL Server service and eventually it went into end success okay so we successfully recreated this scenario by which we can restart a failed task in uh, ISES task flow right so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video